Welcome back to another Roblox video. In this video, I'm on Roblox Jailbreak and looking at the updates. So, how can we start? Well, there's a lot of new stuff to look at. I think I'll go to the $1 million store first. Well, it's actually shown there, but let's go and see it at the $1 million store. First off, the textures and lighting and stuff has changed. This looks really interesting. Um, I feel like this is maybe slightly wrong, because when we're going through that tunnel, the car looked white, and when it's out, it looks blue. It's, I, I can't work out what the actual colour of the car is. Like, the... It's like the colour of the car isn't actually affecting anything at all. So, is the car white now? Why is the car white? Weird. You, you didn't get white cars before. Okay. I guess that is why it looks whatever colours sort of around it, because white does reflect all colours. The first big change is there is this limited vehicle available here. So it's 650, roughly. And I've got easily enough to get that so we'll get that it's very fast we can see how fast it is i believe it could get to almost 200 or probably around 200 you can quite clearly see here that there's a texture change they've got this new sand texture added to roblox so that's been included in jailbreak's sand area like 170 ish 175 roughly so if we go to the garage and upgrade its engine to a level 5 engine and now we'll have faster speed and definitely faster acceleration so it should be easier to get to the top speed or be roughly the same so I mean we're already at like 200 so that's really good 225 ish no 220 it was when we were going downhill and stuff so roughly 220 for this car so that's really good um not sure what the concept car is but apparently the concept car has been upgraded to be quicker I did hear that a couple cars were getting sped up, and the concept car was one of them. I don't remember what its speed before was, so I can't really compare it that well, but I can just give it a test. Like, the texture um, with lighting and stuff does look quite different. Yeah, 2.675. Okay, that's very fast. 2.80. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a little bit quicker than it was before. So, yeah, that's quite cool. The new texture stuff's cool. Hang on, the road's got a more detailed texture. Yeah, like, visually, jailbreak's changed a lot. I think the grass is more, like, there's more detail to it now. There's one other vehicle I kind of want to test out and that is the monster truck because it has been made a lot cooler like it looks cooler and more fitting with jailbreaks sort of modern cars and stuff and it is quicker the only thing i do feel with it is i've heard it's very good at climbing hills now which i feel sort of removes the Trailblazers advantage and stuff. Hang on, what's happening with this up here? I, that looks quite glitchy. <laughs> yeah, that is going very strange. Yeah, quite a few texture things do seem to need a bit of a change. Yeah, the cars have, like, different default colours. Because I don't think you'd have a red camo before. Unless someone's just you know, made that, but that's kind of unlikely. Okay, so if we go in here and upgrade it to faster speed, apparently it is better at climbing hills now, so we can test it on some of this. 
So what the Trailblaze had as an advantage over the monster truck before was that the Trailblaze could climb hills better. Now I would say the Trailblaze is still better because it could like throw itself up this hill. It wouldn't be slowing down at all really. It's really strong at climbing up steep hills and stuff. So the monster truck's good at it. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Trailblaze. But overall it might be. Before it was the monster truck could get over lots of little things and the trailblaze could get over a big hill or something. It was better off road. The monster truck was better at going over little bumps in the road and stuff like that without you know flying up in the air like some cars. Trailblaze is still useful because it's sort of a halfway point between the monster truck and a vehicle like the concept car, Lamborghini, some sort of like supercar. Because the Trailblaze has more speed than the monster truck, but less off-road capabilities. Let's see how easily it can sort of angle itself upwards to start climbing a hill. Okay, it's not as good as the Trailblaze at that, and it can kind of fall over if you tried to go up at an angle. But, if you're just going up a steep hill, you know, not trying to do anything ridiculous, it looks like it would be perfectly fine. Like, here, it can pull itself up. The wheels do seem to go very strange when trying to climb up a hill. Yeah, one of the good things with the Monster Trucks wheels is you can sort of have the wheels just go over something like that without it affecting you that much, and even more so with cars. Like, I don't think cars affect it at all. Yeah. The only thing pushing it up there is the main part of the Monster Truck getting pushed up. So the Monster Truck still has its ability to sort of go over, like, low cars without getting affected whatsoever, but also has better off-road capabilities, which makes more sense. Previously, the monster truck seemed like the sort of vehicle that would be good off-road, but it's more better on-roads, or going sort of niche, or sort of trying to follow the road, where it's reasonably flat, but there are bumps like the train tracks, or going on and off the road there's sort of a slight lip at the side but now it actually can go really off road like it can climb up these hills perfectly fine like it slows down which the trailblaze doesn't really but it can do it and if we take it through this tunnel we should get the speed because it's not extremely high so we should find it before we hit anything also the downward slope will accelerate it to its top speed and then we can see what it is on this flatter bit so it looks like it might be more like 180 although it does take a while to accelerate to that yeah because it's still accelerating when going on flat so I think its top speed is around 180, which is really good. This vehicle, just to mention, is available for like one week from the day I'm recording. So it'll probably be available for like five more days from when I upload it. I would suggest getting it with the whole new trading thing, because it will be valuable since it was limited. And it's reasonably expensive for a limited thing. Okay, I'm going to try and put in the code. What? Yeah, there is a code thing in the bank. That's really the only place with one of those machines that isn't a police station. Let me check what the code is. Okay, I've got what the code is. We just have to wait for the bank to open and then we can get in. I could try and get a keycard and get into a police station, but I think it will just be easier to go in the bank. So there's a trading VIP game pass which allows you to teleport there with a button and teleport back with that button. Um, so you don't have to go to the ship. Also, 
you have like a special name tag in chat and stuff once you're in the uh, trading area. Don't know if it has an effect here. Probably not. There were a couple other features like when you do a trade request, people can accept that. Like the time for accepting it is longer, like 50% longer I think it was. So that can allow you to get a few more trades and stuff like that. Doesn't really help that much. I feel like it's more for the button of teleporting there and back and the name tag thing. The one thing I would say with that button is people could teleport out of a battle to the trading area. So I'm hoping it's either restricted if there's a person from the other team nearby or if they do that and they're a criminal, the bounty goes to the nearest police officer. I don't want to go in there, I want to use the ATM machine. Uh, what is it? Okay, so there's a code which is hyper... Chrome. I'm not sure if you need caps in these codes, so I'm going to try it without. So, that's without... Um, yep, yeah, okay, so you can just type it in, it's hyper chrome. Um, and you get like 10,000 cash, which I'd say is pretty good. So, along with those features, there's been a revamp to the casino. I think it's on the outside only, just sort of how it looks. But I could go and give it a quick test. Also, the hyperchrome thing is to do with a feature where when you rob certain robberies, I don't remember which ones they are exactly, um, I know banks one of them and jewellery stores one of them, when you rob them you get this wheel spin and there is a chance you'll get a hyperchrome skin thing or there's a chance you'll get some money or there's a chance you'll get nothing. So I'm going to go and do a robbery like the bank or jewellery store, it'll probably be the jewellery store if I can get there in time. Some of the jewellery store floors I don't really understand. The one I don't understand is the one with lasers pretty much everywhere where you have to go underneath. Because... I don't really understand how you get through it. Because the laser is almost impossible to avoid when you're crawling. Like, maybe go... Oh, ah! Yeah, I don't really get that um, jewelry store floor. I don't understand how you're supposed to do it. Oh, hang on. It looks taller. Can the helicopter get through here easier now? It looks like it might be slightly taller. I'm not sure, but I feel like it is. Mm, not sure, actually, but... I want to try it. The textures have changed for things. Yeah, the Black Hawk is really the only vehicle that can't easily get in there. Looks like it hasn't changed. Nah, it hasn't changed. Still the same. Yeah, I wish they would make it slightly higher. Yeah, we need to try and do one of the robberies, which is the hyperchrome thing. I'm going to see if I can do the museum. I reckon that is one of them. I don't remember what which ones they are exactly, but I feel like Museum would be one. They're sort of the main robberies of Jailbreak. Okay, that's already been taken, so I have to find something else. What about the thing the other side? That's gone. We'll have to go for some sort of other less um, main item. Yeah, I've taken quite a bit of damage. And I can't really get the stuff in here. I might be able to get this. Nope. I I don't really use much of the museum place. I only use a couple items. I'm just going to stand here and heal a bit. Maybe. Okay, I will be able to get some paintings. So I've got something. So I can do the robbery and get some sort of wheel spin. 
Okay. Let's get out. Grab this. Ah, oh, that's gone. Uh, this will be okay. Okay, so if we go along here and get into the volcano base, we can claim the money, and I reckon the museum will give us a wheel spin. I would assume the small stores wouldn't do it, and it seems that... Yeah, there you go. Got it. Okay, so you'll get some sort of bonus or just nothing. Like, seems that the most likely thing is nothing. And the rarest thing is a hyperchrome thing. Yeah, I think I've covered most of the changes I know of. I might go and have a look at the casino because of that changing a decentish amount. Okay, so yeah, it looks really different. It's way more bright. It's got this big golden statue outside. Let's have a look at the inside. Oh, this has one of those things. Yeah, it seems more vibrant. Pretty much all of Jailbreak seems more vibrant. Don't remember if these walls changed colour as much. Don't remember. They might have just been a mixture of colours, I'm not sure. I know this changed. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get here in time for the robbery, but I'm just going to assume that the robbery itself has remained the same, or the system for the robbery. It might be slightly different looking down there, but I think the system will be the same. So overall I would say this update's a really good one. It it's really changed how Jailbreak looks. It's changed a couple vehicles and stuff to be better, and it's added a vehicle. It's added the new hyperchrome system. Not sure how long that's going to stay around. I assume a long time. I hope it's not sort of an event where you can only get the hyperchrome thing in the time of the event. Because that would make them really, really rare and hard to get. I don't really care about textures that much, but it'd be cool to collect them. Also, the bonuses, since you can get bonus money from doing it, will be cool and useful. So yeah, this is a really good update. It includes a lot of good features. And I especially like the change with the monster truck and this new vehicle. That's mainly what I care about. And the... Um wheel spin so i think that's going to end today's video like subscribe hit the bell to get notified bye